However it happened, Jason was elated to see their old friend come into action once more. You cannot defeat me! Gaia crumbled the sand, only to get blasted by more flames. Her body melted into a lump of glass, shattered, and then reformed again as a human. I am eternal! Eternally annoying! Leo yelled as he urged Festus higher. Jason and Piper rose with him. Get me closer, Piper urged. I need to be next to her. Piper, the flames and the shrapnel. I know. Jason moved in until they were right next to Gaia. The winds encased the goddess, keeping her solid. But it was all Jason could do to contain her blasts of sand and soil. Her eyes were solid green, like all nature had been condensed into a few spoonfuls of organic matter. Foolish children! Her face contorted with the miniature earthquakes and mudslides. You are so weary, Piper told the goddess, her voice radiating kindness and sympathy. Eons of pain and disappointment weigh on you. Silence! The force of Gaia's anger was so great, Jason momentarily lost control of the wind. He would have dropped into a freefall, but Festus caught him and hit Piper in one huge claw. Amazingly, Piper kept her focus. Millennia of sorrow, she told Gaia. Your husband, Orianus, was abusive. Your grandchildren, the gods, overthrew your beloved children, the Titans. Your other children, the Cyclops and the Hundred-Handed Ones, were thrown into Tartarus. You are so tired of heartache. Lies! Gaia crumbled into a tornado of soil and grass, but her essence seemed to churn more sluggishly. If they gained any more altitude, the air would be too thin to breathe. Jason would be too weak to control it. Piper's talk of exhaustion affected him, too, sapping his strength, making his body feel heavy. "'What you want,' Piper continued, "'more than victory, more than revenge. You want rest. You are so weary, so incomprehensibly tired of the ungrateful mortals and immortals. I, uh, you do not speak for me. You cannot. You want one thing.' Piper said soothingly, her voice resonating through Jason's bones. One word. You want permission to close your eyes and forget your troubles. You want sleep. Gaia solidified into human form. Her head lolled, her eyes closed, and she went limp in Festus's claw. Unfortunately, Jason started to black out too. The wind was dying, the storm dissipated, dark spots danced in his eyes. Leo! Piper gasped for breath. We only have a few seconds. My charm speak won't... I know! Leo looked like he was made of fire. Flames rippled beneath his skin, illuminating his skull. Festus steamed and glowed. His claws burned through Jason's shirt. I can't contain the fire much longer. I'll vaporize her. Don't worry. But you guys need to leave. No, Jason said. We have to stay with you. Piper's got the cure. Leo, you can't... Hey! Leo grinned, which was unnerving in the flames in his teeth and molten silver ingots. I told you, I had a plan. When are you guys going to trust me? And by the way, I love you guys. Festus's claw opened, and Jason and Piper fell. Jason had no strength to stop it. He held on to Piper as he cried Leo's name, and they plummeted earthward. Festus became an indistinct ball of fire in the sky, a second sun, grown smaller and hotter. Then, in the corner of Jason's eye, a blazing comet streaked forward from the ground with a high-pitched, almost human scream. Just before Jason blacked out, the comet intercepted the ball of fire above them. The explosion turned the entire sky gold.